Well, family, pray all is well with each one of you. Comment on to share about a dream I had earlier. And just want to just chat a bit also, you know, what's on my heart. Um, about the dream I had earlier, um, I truly believe it's excite exciting news um but my daughter just came in probably about 30 minutes ago and shared with me about um you know the different prisons and how you know um ones are dying and um one guy particular prison prisoner he uh is actually doing like different video clippings and um, sending it out of what's going on in his particular prison. His, uh, I want to say his, his uh, prison mate died next in the bed next to his bed. Um, he saw body bags and being taken out and put in a tent. So I got very emotional um, because It just, you know, it's just, I know what it's all about. There are a lot of people who don't have a clue. the severeness of it. They may have encountered knowledge and information about what's happening, but they just don't understand the severeness of it. And that's, you know, a part of me want to be that person to help one understand And as I was, you know, laying here and what I felt the most high gave me was he's there, you know, all I need to do is talk to him, open up. Some people, and I'm saying this, you know, in in, in reference to some people even myself have came across over the years and times as just being prideful. Some people may feel I can't talk, you know, to the most high or to God because I'm just so wicked. I'm so evil. I have not got anything right. And then some people mad for different reasons they have an attitude so that's you know having them to be reluctant from reaching out to the most high and some people may just not believe because they haven't really sat and searched out within themselves to see how um many different manifestation the most high have really done in their lives. But father's right there. All they have to do is open up. They're in a situation where a lot of them not only in prisons, but when you think of the prisons, they're confined. Someone next to them has COVID-19. If you put yourself in their shoes, how would you feel? Because they, you know, in so many ways feel like the world is against them. They did something wrong that break the law that got them years. Some 
In cases, it wasn't even justified. Some cases, it was uh, just the opposite. Not only the timing that they may be doing, or just in general, the time period of what they've done. But someone else who don't look like them get off or get short of time. So all of this is to turn ourselves over to the most high, to come in submission, to dedicate our lives, to repent, to cry out. So I'm praying that the most high will have mercy for them to Have a heart to cry out for mercy themselves. I'm praying. So I didn't intend to come on and start the video in this manner, but I want to start first of all and foremost by giving the most high the honor and respect and the glory. Because I have a lot of sense of to know what's going on. For me reading and for me seeking his face and for me what I've experienced in my lifetime. So I want to praise his holy name. I want to praise my father. Oh, I, I don't understand, but I praise him. Because I know he has our best interests. Hallelujah. So family, in my sleep uh, today, I took the day just to be before the most high and meditate, medication, <laughs> meditation, meditation. Um, I turn off my TV. Um read my Bible and um, just sat near a window, just looked out and um, read my, you know, of course, scriptures and I prayed um, for, of course, a restoral for our people and for those who we have called who are not Our people from other nations that he will in and, and have appointed and anointed whom they are. So um I was just in in one of my naps and um I wanna take your attention to a dream I had. So the dream um, right here is 42420, which was today. It says here, I heard these words in my dream while I was still asleep. Quantum leap. So I looked it up, wouldn't, you know, to see what it means. And it says an abrupt change, sudden increase dramatic advance so I got excited because I'm connecting that you know of what is going on today there's a lot of changes it's happening and that's what surface about where we at and what's to come sudden increase a dramatic advance. Wow. So 
I never saw the movie because I went and I looked online and never, you know, saw the movie Quantum Leap or whatever, if it was a weekly show. I never really, you know, I saw it, but I saw how a lot of things that transpire in the movies, but the definition I was looking for, this is what, um, when it had a definition of it, this is not, a a word, a words that I'm custom of using. I never, you know, would have thought to have this, but it was mentioned. I heard the voice says quantum leap. So I knew when I woke up, of course, I went to look it up and this is what I got. So this is exciting news. Abrupt, abrupt, abrupt change. Sudden increase, dramatic advance. So I want to praise the Most High for that because it just speaks, you know, far as volume. Um, this is what's to come. And I didn't feel like it was just directed towards me. Um, I felt like it was directed towards his people. Hallelujah. Praises to the Most High, yeah. Right below there, I had another dream. The next time I went to sleep, <laughs> I slept many times today, little short naps. I heard in a dream that um, the name McCarthy, um, I had a face with the name. I didn't see the face in the dream, but I heard the name. But immediately it drew me in more so to... Um, put the name with Trump name and show sure enough, there's a McCarthy. He's a congressman. And I heard the voice said that, um, that, uh, he has himself in a pretzel as if he got himself locked up into something that it's in a pretzel. And when it's in a pretzel, it's like really, you know, hard to get out of it. So, and I knew it was something surrounding with 45, um, with Trump. I'm not sure what it was. And all I can tell you is that this name popped up or came in my dream. And I heard the voice that tell me, um, McCarthy. And I have here, it could be Kevin and his name is Kevin. Um, when I looked it up, the congressman, but all I heard was McCarthy has himself in a pretzel. So something, um, apparently could be coming up about, um, him surrounding around Donald Trump. Um, I'm going to go up one up here. It says around the week of April the 21st, I heard this word Gendra or Gandra in my sleep looked it up in the word and it had a F at the end of it. Um, it's a medicine and I'm not sure why this was mentioned in my dream, but, um, I went back online to look for further insights and I found a doctor with the last name of this without the F. But when I looked up the medicine, the medicine actually, um, works with the, your immune system. So I'm not sure if this is something that the most high will explain further in detail. Um, and I just want to explain about how the most high have dealt with me over the years. I've been always a person where, um, I didn't really have dreams and even when prophetic words, um, will come. Um, it was very far and few in between, but more so how he dealt with me is through my, where I worked and different things. Um, more so is where I will be slain in the spirit right at work. And then when I get up, I will have a prophetic word to give to someone or either to touch someone. So this way of, since I'm being home and being before him more, 
um, this is different because I'm having dreams, you know, but the dreams are um, short and sometimes they're long, but I only remember, you know, certain things. And I prayed the other day, a couple of days back for father to give me longer dreams and more, you know, vibrant dreams. I want to say that's the right word um, where I could, you know, remember, but I can't you know, lose sight on that father, you know, knows best. And even though I want what I want, he'd given me everything, but there are certain things that actually stands out and it could be that someone else will come and hear my dream and may connect with them could be confirmation or it could be something that's going to happen down the road so also when i pulled up this information under the medicine it has a lot of different things there so i don't know if this will be something that um will help me or help someone else out down the road I don't know if family, but if the most I've given you any insights, please feel free to share as well. Okay. Something that just surfaced that I feel like I needed to share and now it's gone. I'm looking over to my left, like at my other iPad, if it's something there that I need to go to. Father, is there anything that you want me to share Okay, family. Well, I'll come back to it. If the most high gives that to me. Okay, four seventeen twenty. I had a dream about a number twenty one, as in a date. I heard a voice. It was a female voice that said, you know, about twenty one. Um, and I shared this in a previous video that I actually have locked um at this point because I felt like I needed more clarification on certain other parts of the video but um this is i'm not sure if it parallel parallel um but i seen an object coming from the sky towards the earth now in this dream when i woke up it connected me with the number 21 as if it was in a previous dream earlier that night or at another time but um it just you know it just seemed like it was together um, in the sense that I needed to think of it together in that like, so I didn't see it hit the earth. I didn't see the object and it reminded me of like a rock. Um, when I think of a meteorite, it looks like fire or light. There was no light. It was just dark. It was hitting the earth, getting ready to hit the earth. But I woke up before that happened. Um, but it appeared as things was in eye view so I, I, I was from a distance and I could see it, but I remember the tree line and the buildings kind of gave me an idea of how close it was to the earth. Okay. So days before this dream, I heard about the Atlas online, um, our own TV can't recall. And I was sitting here and I asked the most high, well, you know, I, let me back up and make sure I have this right. I remember just thinking, um, well, what is this? And it surfaced, it says wormwood. So these are two different, um, of course, things, or maybe three different things with the number 21. Um, it felt like it was a date. And then what I saw in the dream, but also um, when I saw about Comet Atlas, which you know, they said it's supposed to hit at the end of April. And then some people saying it's in May. I'm not sure when, but it's supposed to hit the sun um, at that time or uh, when it does. But what I um, got from that, as I, you know, I've, as soon as I thought of it, I didn't even verbally said anything it just surfaced about wormwood and i went to read in revelation 8 and you're welcome to go read that so i'm not sure how this all gonna pan out and play out family but um the video that i recently share and um i can't remember his name but he was saying that something was going to hit in 2029 
Okay. And then um, there was another prophet said that things were going to happen in 2028. Not so much of the meteorite, but things. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm praying that we way before that be, uh, you know, taken into the wilderness and, 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 and whatnot. And um, Father gather us back way before that. But, you know, hey, the Most High, he got his time in and we must understand that. Okay, eight, second week in April. I don't recall the date, but I seen two sticks. It was like if it was a sword and they crossed over each other. But it was like also in the dream I heard about the two sticks. It was the house of Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, which was Judah. And they were coming together. And it was verbalized saying that um, about it was being two sticks. But it reminded me of two swords that were crossed over on each other and they were touching. Okay. Um, and I wanted to share that. And then on 4-6, I was told that it was, um, it will be a shaking. And now I was in my bedroom where I'm at now and over near my window, it was like a voice came from there. But I was asleep in my dream and I heard it said, um, it will be a shaking and for me to hold on. And it was like what I felt like it was saying for me to hold on to something. And it says, and I will save. I'm sorry. And I will be saved out from it. That's what I heard the voice said. So I want to take you to a scripture. Um, this whole Thai family. So this scripture right here, um, which is Job 33, 15 and 16 in a dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep falls upon men while slumber slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seal their instruction. So not only I've heard another brother who had actually gave a testimony that he had heard um a word when it was time for him to wake up to understand who he was as an israelite and was talking about antioch um the church i believe that he needed to look further into that so i know that there are other people that um how the most high deals with them with dreams and then certain things when they wake up they know um just of that and they don't know the whole dream so um Again, this is pretty remarkable and um, um, I just wanted to, you know, share this with you all that when we're asleep, you know, the most high um, are his angels, you know, ministering to us. Now, I literally had a dream where I was in my bedroom where I'm at now and um, I was like in the dream, those off in the, in the, like I was sleep literally, okay, and then I dozed off in within the dream and there was um, a melanated black, you know, man that was right in front of me looking down on me. Um, he had like a beard, but it wasn't white or his head wasn't white. I only saw the side of his face. And but I remember waking when I was like within the dream I kind of like say woke myself up and I chuckle because I said, Oh, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep on you again. Or, you know, I fell asleep. And when I opened my literally opened my eyes, he was right there in front of me, but he was sitting on like, I would say a throne looking down at me. And soon as when I got, you know, zoomed in on his face, he turned his face real quick. And then there were things behind him that I could not see that went by real fast. It's like, um, it was like moving real fast. I I couldn't see it. And, um, that was a dream I had. And I was like, wow, that was very profound also. So there's certain dreams I dream longer. Um, and I remember more, I think, and there's certain dreams. I only remember certain things and I hear it as I'm waking up out of the sleep. Just like there was a dream I had in the middle of the day And as I was waking up, the word, the name Josiah, and that led me to look up about the King Josiah 
and come to find out that he was the one that um, was one of the good kings, the last good king that brought the, you know, our forefathers back into the place to um, honor the um, Passover and got, you know, doing what had, what the most high wanted him to do for his people. So, um, that was giving me revelation about something that I was seeking the most high about too, I believe. So, but I heard his name in the sleep as I was waking up, Josiah. And I was like, Josiah, I know he's a king. And I didn't know much about him. And when I went to go look him up, it was a, actually a confirmation. I believe that it was something I was seeking the most high about. Yeah. So family, I'm going to close out, but I just wanted to come on to share this with you all. And um, again, talk to your family, your friends, your kids, your parents, all let them know the severeness of what's happening. Um, I wanted to show you all this. This was interesting too. Hold on. So this is actually, um, about three days ago, I woke up and the most high gave me Joel two, And then that morning. And so I was like, father, what did you want me to do with it? Cause I read the whole chapter again and he didn't, you know, lead me to do anything about it. And so that evening, um, he, you know, like led me on back on Facebook and had me to stroll down my Facebook feed. And as I was strolling, I, you know, it surfaced about me looking to see when did um, I put out the first information about the coronavirus. And so this is actually, he gave this to me on January the 20th at 11 32 PM, I went on Facebook and made this post in this video um, about um, Joel 2 and 2. It says here, a day of darkness, of gloominess, a day of clouds and a thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people is strong. There has not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations. So the first part of Joel, it speaks of the army, like the locusts, how they actually uniform, how they structure, you know, and how they, you know, take order and how they go about it. Right. The first part of Joel too. And so, but letting us know about what was happening. So on January the 20th, that was the first case that, showed up in the United States. So they said, right. But I reported it on it about the coronavirus on January the 21st. Then not knowing that father gave this to me to let us know that there was something that was coming and, um, to be prepared or not, you know, to understand, but he didn't tell me why, but on the 21st was the date that I actually did my first post about coronavirus on Facebook. And then he would lead me back down my page to find this, not knowing that, you know, earlier that day, he gave me Joel two again. And then he, he gave me Joel two, Joel two on, um, actually, you know, on January the 20th. And when you go back into the uh, history that's when they said the first case that show up in America and also Italy. But now they come to find out that there were some more cases that they believe that has showed up before that. But I just, you know, wanted to share this with you all, um, as a scripture as well, a day of darkness and of gloominess. Okay. A day of cloud and a thick darkness. All right. So letting us know. So, what I took and believe and understanding there's another um, plague is about to start um, because 
when I even went back to, I had a dream about two caterpillars. Um, it was actually two in one dream. One of them, um, was already there at the location where I was. And then one had came days later. Okay. Um, the one that was already there was already going about doing, you know, what it was doing and they were moving about on the floor, the ground base where I was standing. And then the others, I was shocked to see them. I said, Oh, they, Oh, they just got here. And of course, you know, um, that can be used a part of, um, judgment, you know, far as with the caterpillars and that. So I, when I first initially had the dream, I was lining up with the, in, um, the Northern tribe, you know, because it had, um, a word on there, a gate is from, it says two from the same source. So could this be another plague that is coming? That's going to be similar to the one we already have. I'm not sure family, but, um, I pray, you know, that the most I give me more insights on it and everything, but this was very profound on the day that he gave me with it, you know, surface back in my spiritual room, Joel two, um, later that evening, he, you know, led me, I felt he led me back down my Facebook page and I wanted to know, you know, surface about when did I post the post about, um, the virus, I mean, um, you know, coronavirus. And then I came, you know, to this on January the 20th. So I posted the first post about the coronavirus on January the 21st. And then this, he gave me that night. And I probably, um, let me see.